So as we move forward in this call manager lab, um, we are going to need a Microsoft server. So you can get that the image for free from Microsoft's site. I'll put the link in below. And I'm gonna use the evaluation of 180 days for Windows Server 2019. So I already downloaded that ISO and I'm going to set that up in my um, <coughs> lab ESXi uh, environment. Um, if you don't have that already, um, you can look back at previous videos in this series. It has uh, instructions on how to make an ESXi 6.5 lab out of an old desktop computer. So go ahead and check that out if you do not have a lab environment. Otherwise, you could probably also do this on a VMware player. So I'm going to log in. I'm going to create, create a new virtual machine. I'm going to call this it's going to be a do-it-all machine. It's going to do DNS, DHCP, and um, some other functions as well. Probably uh, TFTP and we will get out of that. Um, so it's going to be Windows. And the closest I have is Microsoft Windows Server 2016, so we'll see if this works. If you're watching this video, it did work. Um, use that data store. I'm going to give it one CPU. Uh, I think I'm going to give it two gigs of RAM. Well, I'll, just, I'll just do four gigs right now. Everything. I think I'll just keep this exactly how it is. And I'm going to click next and finish. And I have my image downloaded right here. So I need to upload that to my data store. And I'm going to put it right here. And click upload. And I found that ISO. And it is currently uploading right now. So I'm going to close this and monitor the progress right there. Okay, and that finished uploading, so I'm going to go into my server, CD, DVD, change this to data store ISO file, and select connect it power on. Power him on. And quick run to this installation. Now I'm going to choose Windows Server 2019 Data Center Evaluation Desktop Experience. I accept. And I'll just let this run. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose a password and click finish. And log in. Okay, and what I'm going to activate first is DHCP. So this server manager opened all by itself. So I'm going to add roles and features. Click next. And next again. And you know, I'm going to do a couple things here. Active Directory. I'm just going to do these all. I'm going to do
DHCP and DNS. And it's hollering at me because I have not given this a static IP address, which I will I will definitely want to do. And next. Just click next. 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 And install. And let that run. Now the reason I'm adding all of this is because we're going to want DHCP for our voice VLANs. We're going to want to uh, modify VLAN um, or add option 150 to our voice VLANs, which um, will tell physical phones where to go to register. So I'll show you how to do that in later videos. And then we're going to want DNS because later we're going to do UCCX and that requires DNS. Um, and uh, then Active Directory too, I want to be able to sync our call manager to LDAP. That's a good thing to know how to do. So um, once we got those features installed, I can start making videos on those subjects. Okay, so that all finished. So I'm going to click Close. And then we can see we have DHCP and we have Active Directory now available and we should have DNS as well. So with those set up we are uh, ready to take this lab to the next level. But as it was warning me I should give this a static IP address so that is what I'm going to do. And so you'll have to choose this for um, your own network. But I have a slash 24 network. Oops. And I like 5 for it. So 255, that's 255. And I had the yellow uh, triangle for a second, but that disappeared, so it looks like I am good to go. Thanks for watching this video. It didn't really have too much to do with Cisco Voice at this point, but uh, you'll uh, see how it's relevant in the upcoming videos in this series. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and if you enjoyed it, please like and please subscribe.